Let's look at how to create your affiliate links. Not terribly difficult stuff, but the sort of task where knowing a few best practices can go a long way in how you end up doing as an affiliate marketer and how successful we are. I'm going to go to new post on our demo site, gregorynarayan.com. And we're going to use this new post editor in the text tab because we're dealing with links and a little bit of code uh, for much of the tutorial. This is going to be our creating area. And it's good timing too. I just got an email from Aweber saying they'll be sending me a check shortly for $34 for recommending Aweber email marketing. Not to brag or to show you that I'm the best at this or something uh, because that's far from the truth, just to show you that this can be done and that you can earn money affiliate marketing every month too. So in our post editor, let's create an Amazon affiliate link. I wanted to start off with Amazon to give a shout out to Corey and Donna for asking such great questions at our town hall last night and for really making it come to life. You guys are amazing. All right, so let's go to Amazon, where at least a few of us are affiliate marketing. And I'm on the page for Frisky's Tasty Treasures, just the kind of cat food that kittens like. And I actually just bought this last night. So if we're logged in as affiliates, we'll have our affiliate bar at the top. And we can click on text to get the link. Amazon gives us a short link and a full link. All right. So let's start out using the short link. Copy it, create some space, and paste it in the post. And uh, I'm just going to manually set up a link right here. Maybe have target equals underscore blank to send people that click it to a new page. And then write some anchor text. And close the link. That would be the short link and we can also do the long link. All right, like such and I'll speed that up for you and I hope you don't mind this little bit of light coding we're doing. I hope you can follow along. Let me know at any point if you have any questions and I'll put all our resources in the video notes. So we have a problem here and that is that publishing a link like number one right here or number two below this would insert some code into your post that Google might not like. You have to understand that Google crawls your entire post and when they see a link like AMZN2 and then this random combination of letters and numbers or even worse all this random code they might penalize your site and I really mean it. They might look at your site negatively and might rank your article lower in Google, which is terrible because we want our affiliate articles to rank well, get a lot of page views, and then, you know, go through the affiliate marketing process with people, and that stops if they're not ranking in Google. So we have to clean this up, and the old way I like doing was recommended by Crazy Bob blog. This is a really old article, but one of the finest over the years. And we get this custom link structure. I'll show you how to use it briefly. You would use a link like this, and you'd put in the ASIN, and then you'd fill in this part with your associate's ID, whatever that is, like your ID. Okay, but this isn't too great anymore, although it's better, in my opinion, than option one or option two, because it's a little bit easier for Google to pick apart. But it's still not ideal for the Google search engines. So I'm going to delete that. What we want instead is a link coming from our own site. We want a link that looks like gregorynarayan.com slash tasty treasures. Alright, and we want to create this link which when clicked goes to this link. 
I'm also going to delete the Amazon long link because please just don't use that method. So what we want to do is create affiliate link structures like this, including your own domain name in them. And then we want to redirect them to the affiliate link themselves. You can accomplish that redirect with a couple plugins like 301 redirection plugin. That would be this one right here, simple 301 redirects, where you would actually create a page for this link right here. Create a page called Tasty Treasures that doesn't exist on your site, just exists in the dashboard, and then redirect it to this link. Or you can use a plugin that I've heard people like called Pretty Links, which is excellent for affiliate marketing. I've heard. I haven't personally used this one, but a lot of my subscribers have liked it. And then once you've accomplished the redirection, you need to hide these links. Because even though it's better to have an internal link like this on your site, if Google sees too many of them, then it can start to wonder what you're actually doing. And we'd rather just hide all our affiliate links to stay 100% okay and in the clear in Google's eyes. To hide your affiliate links from Google, I like using the robots.txt file and writing in one or two lines of simple code there. It's pretty easy and can be done just with a little practice on your part. Um, but it's also possible just to individually write rel equals no follow, which should tell Google to overlook a specific individual link. Might be a little more legwork writing this in every link, um, but up to you. And of course, I'm here for you and happy to help. This is the method you should follow for all affiliate links, whether you get them from Amazon, ThemeForest, Aweber, or anywhere else. You should create this structure, including your domain name in the link, and then hide the link from Google's uh, crawlers and from the Google search engines. If you use this cleaner structure for your affiliate links, it's also easier to share them around the web. Like when I want to paste an affiliate link into YouTube, I can paste something like this which looks a little bit more friendly. Or you can even go to Google Link Shortener and shorten it then, and then have it go through your custom link structure.